Hi, this is Mark at uh, Ding Dong's Garden, and today I want to talk about how we propagate mulberries. Uh, we start off, we have a nine inch, we use nine inch pots, we have rooting hormone, and we have the mulberry sticks. And the first step is to label the pots. There's nothing worse than having similar looking plants that don't have any labels. And the next thing we do is we cut our mulberries to size and we generally look for the optimum is a diameter of five sixteenths of an inch but we do both larger and smaller each cutting that we try to root we try to have three nodes on it and the first the first cut is going to be in the bottom of the future cutting across a node or across the area where a bud is appearing and then we count up three nodes, and then we cut into the stick. So we end up with a stick that's anywhere from six to eight inches long and with three buds or three nodes. And we wrap the top of the cutting with parafilm, which is used for grafting or things like that. And this protects or this controls for humidity. If you live in a humid environment or if you use grow tents to, to keep the area humid, you, you don't need this. And we wrap the top, but we don't, we try not to wrap the buds so that they can, when they're ready to swell and emerge and leaf out, uh, it's easier for them. Then we put uh, everything into rooting hormone. We use ProMix or a combination of 25% perlite and 75% peat moss, and we make sure it's moist. So if you squeeze it, water won't drip out. And then we pack the pots pretty tight so that there's no loose ends and it won't settle over time because the cuttings will be here for a few months. And the nice thing about these pots is that they're tall, so the middle section won't dry out over time. You'll have to water it every week or two, but uh, you don't need a lot of water, and the middle section takes a long time to dry out. Then we just insert the cuttings uh, into the Pro Mix up to where the, the parafilm is. And we usually put two or maybe three cuttings in per pot in order to kind of prevent, uh, you know, if we have a failure, then it wasn't wasted. We still have one success or two successes in a pot. And finally, we put all these in uh, containers and put them on a heat mat at 70 to 80 degrees for a couple of months. And in six weeks, you should see some, some growth. We start off in darkness, and then we gradually move it into the light.